Hello and welcome to Teach Me Money Methods. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Thanksgiving niche uh, on KDP, uh, low content and no content publishing. But um, more specifically, we're going to be talking about the Thanksgiving notebooks or journals. We're going to be uh, going, getting uh, using a software today and also uh, kind of doing some research to see if there's any Thanksgiving notebooks that are actually selling with decent BSRs how we would be a, a go about getting this uh, data and should we actually publish some Thanksgiving notebooks? Can you rank and can you make some sales? Um, and then also how can you maybe quickly put together um, some notebook covers? So without further ado, let's jump in. So I'm inside this software here. Not sure how much I've talked about this software before. I have used this in my KDP uh, business. I just have not really shared it too much on this channel. Today we're going to be using the software called BookBolt. It does save beta up here. Um, they have been in beta for a very long time. A lot of times um, softwares just like to keep it in beta mode. Um, for even it can last for years because they're just uh, it actually is good um, i think it's a good sign because it means that they are always constantly upgrading their software making changes listening to um, the users of and they have thousands of users you probably um, if you are already a kdp publisher you've probably already heard of book bolt if you are new and this is the first couple of videos that you're watching, then uh, you I'll just let you know that BookBolt does have thousands of users. It is a one of the staple softwares that um, is well known in the community. And it provides almost every tool that you can think of from book cover creation to um, creating your interiors. They even have um, creating puzzle books and an activity type books. They have keyword research and uh, category research. You can spy on your competitors with this software. Um, and niche research, all that kind of stuff. So it almost has, and then they also have a um, book bolt uh, lister down here where you can uh, e quickly create profiles and, and uh, it will help um, save you at least 50% of your uploading time uh, during the upload process. So they really just have a really uh, nice suite of tools that work really well. So at any time, if you are interested in this, uh, picking up the software and they have a free trial, so there's no strings attached. You get the full version of the software for free. I believe it's a three to seven day trial. Um, and you can get, uh, you can go ahead and sign up with the link below, but let's jump in real quick and uh, we're going to go over here and there's a bunch of different, uh, I might be sharing more and more um, of the different types of tools they have on here, but today we're going to go to the cloud over here and just click on cloud. And um, right here we can, we can search um, the top 100 sellers. We can also, um, I'm going to go with, uh, we're going to go 200 here. We're going to stick with notebook. They have different categories. You can go notebook or journal and depending on um what uh, you're looking for. Notebooks and journals are kind of a crossover. They're for the most part, they're the same thing. Um, you can use a notebook as a journal um, and vice versa, a journal as a notebook. I mean, it's really just what people are typing in. And I believe that um, notebook, um, at least for what I'm looking at for today, Thanksgiving notebook, we come back over here. This is publisher rocket. As you can see, I use several tools. Um, Thanksgiving notebook is showing a hundred uh, searches over here and less than 100 over here. So in this case, notebook is a little bit more popular. So we would go with notebook. So I'm going to go with notebook top 100. And I want, I don't want to see what the best seller is because we probably aren't going to be able to get a book, um, you know, ranked in the top uh, thousand for this, but I like to see, um, this is set at 500,000 right there. I'm going to push this, um, up to a, maybe about 900,000 or so just about right there. I'm going to shrink this down to about a um, hundred thousand. I like to go to about a hundred thousand here. Oops. Let's see if I can actually use the arrow. Now we'll go with uh, right there. 96,000. Okay. And then under keywords, I'm going to go ahead and type in Thanksgiving. Um, I'm just going to do Thanksgiving and I'm going to push search. It's going to go out there and it's going to find um, different books that are ranking um, within these BSRs, which is really, really cool. And it's going to show us the 200 that come in. So there's one right here. Um, recipes. This is, um, you know, could be used as a, it's a recipe book. So recipe books can be, could be good for Thanksgiving. Um, we can certainly create um, the same type of covers and just make them a recipe um, book, a blank recipe book uh, instead of a notebook. Uh, so we're just looking through here, looking through here. I spy Thanksgiving book. It's an I spy book. 
And um, they just have different things. And we keep scrolling here. And I, I see one over here that is exactly what we would want, want to be looking for right here, right? This is a notes, notes gobble, notebook journal, right? Um, it's not really the most impressive cover. I know that you guys can do much, much better than that um, a cover there. But a pretty simple cover. <clears throat> they threw a couple flowers on there on an ugly brown background. And they threw in a turkey in, in there with actually purple and uh, different colors, which I don't think is very, is actually Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving type colors. So we could definitely do better than this, right? But guess what? This book right here is actually, it's uh, selling for $6.98 and it has a 500,000 uh, BSR, right? Now, what I've noticed is estimated sales. I kind of ignore this because it's really not, um, either I don't understand the way BookBull is calculating this or, um, or what, what it means, but we know that they're not making a hundred uh, monthly, uh, average monthly sales, 139. No, we take this BSR 515,000. We, let's go over here to TCK Amazon book sales calculator. We'll scroll down here, keep it at books. We're going to throw that in here and we're going to see what this, um, this is a pretty accurate tool. And it's saying that there's making about nine sales per month, right? Or, um, on yeah, up to one sale a day. So if we take out our calculator and we take nine times our average $2 um, per royalty, we're looking at about $18 per month. But you know, the key with this is you want to get a bunch of books out there that are making you 20 bucks a month. And you can certainly make a really good uh, monthly income doing that. So um, you get to see all the stuff. You can see what the description is and you can, kind of rewrite this description. This is working for this book um, and it's ranking 500,000. So just rewrite this. Um, it's, an, uh, it's a good idea of what they're doing and just rewrite it and put in your, don't copy this. Don't just do notes, Thanksgiving, turkey, gobble, notebook. Um, this book's already ranking. So they're going to continue to rank. Um, so you'll be wasting your time. You want to offer something that's new to the market. You could scroll down here too. And um, we're already past October. It's November now. So you could do Epic since November. Um, you know, and you can put uh, different things in here. This um, book right here will phase out because it's in October um, and it has pumpkins and things like that. So that'll phase out. But really, um, so if we have this kind of book here, we know that it's right at that 500,000 mark. Yes, it is selling. Um, so what can we do? Um, well, I also like to um, go ahead and check um, in a publisher rocket. And so Thanksgiving notebook, um, you can see it's being searched a hundred times. It has a relatively low um, comp competition score on all these uh, factors here. And so you have Thanksgiving notebook journal for kids. Um, that certainly could be a kid's book as well. So you can go ahead and um, use that as a keyword. Um, and it, this one does hit pretty hard this month in November. Um, at 6,000, um, is the average monthly earnings. So, um, so it's looking like, you know, we could definitely create some Thanksgiving notebooks, um, and journals and recipe books and all, all that sort of thing. Right. And so, uh, what would you want to do real quick is using book bolt, uh, today to create our interiors, to create, you can also use it to create, um, your covers, um, has all kinds of different stuff that you can do here. Right. Um, but we're going to go over here and this is what's really cool. If you want to check this out, book bolt, um, you can use free resources. You just go to free and go to the interior wizard here. You click on the interior wizard. It'll take you over to this page. Just click on this button here and it'll take you over here. Now I'm signed in and I'm a pro, um, user. So I have access to all of these, but if you're using it for free, you're st it'll just be blocked out. Some of these will be blocked out and it'll say that you have to be a member, but you get a lot. I mean, I'm talking 50 to 75 uh, free ones um, and, and uh, plenty to get you going. If you're new in this business, plenty to get you going and you don't need to worry about paying for any tools. You can just, um, and certainly the journal and the college ruled are definitely um, and the blank page for that matter. You can just have sketchbooks and things like that. Um, these three main ones that you would be using for no content um, books, which are notebooks and journals, um, they have these for free. So what we'll do is we would just click on co either college ruled or we'd click on journal. And I like to use the journal one because it's still a lined notebook, right? You can still take notes with it and stuff, but I find that most people want to put some type of heading or date up here. Even if they were going to use this journal interior um, as a notebook, 
um, they would want to put like a main note up here, right? And so um, you can certainly use either one. I go with the journal. I'm going to go with a bleed and our, the standard journal size, the most top selling is six by nine. It's small enough to put in uh, small backpacks and uh, large purses. Uh, people like the small um, book to, to carry around and page count. We'll go with a hundred and we'll push download. So what it'll do is it'll spit out this book for us, right? For free. Just go there and go to book bolt, go to resources, and you can get this for free. You can get this for free. The bleed is already accounted for everything, right? And then you just push the download button here and it downloads the book for you. So next we need to, um, we need to worry about, you know, creating a cover. So I'm going to go over to Canva, um, my favorite tool for creating covers. You can also go to uh, book bolt. And if I go back into here, into book bolt, and I come over to here, I get there from clicking over here on my name and then going over to uh, book bolt designer. You can go to book bolt designer. It'll ask you to sign in again. And then you have a cover uh, trim size is six by nine paper color. We always go white and page count 100. It's going to account for the spine. And then it just go ahead, goes ahead and builds the template for you. So the advantage of book bolt, especially as a beginner is that you won't have to go over and worry about getting a down, downloading a template and then converting that over when you get over to uh, Canva, you'll have to go to create design and you will have to, um, because if you do custom size, um, it will be wrong if you just go inch and then type in inches, you have to have an exact, um, uh, dimension in order to create it over here. Right. And so that's what this does for you. It accounts for the bleed and the spine. It's perfect and ready to go. You can change colors. You can add text in book bolts, um, right over here. We can just grab something over here and make that bigger and we can start creating some pretty nice designs. Uh, you can bring in uh, shapes and clip art and all kinds of stuff um, in here into book bolt and just do all kinds of different stuff in here. And then your um, when you push um, uh, export, this will already be exactly ready to upload to KDP. So. It, and it, and the, uh, what I like about this designing in here, and I've used it a lot, is that it constantly has the borders um, for you. So you're not having to constantly, I'm going to jump into Canva now and just kind of doing a comparison. You're not having to constantly go to um, folders and bringing in your, uh, your template, which is, let me see if I can find the one right over here. I think it's this one. You're not having to do this all the time. And I wish that Canva would kind of have this built in for us. See, and then you have to go up here and go to transparency um, and kind of bring it down. So then you can see if your text is in here, right? And you guys all know, uh, know about this. Um, if you're, if, but if you're new and this is one of your first videos, then you wouldn't know about this, but um, you're constantly having to bring in this template and work. And then also, if you really want to know exactly what it's going to look like in KDP, you have to go like this, right? And so, um, you have to kind of balance the, the difference between the two Canva is more, has more powerful features when it comes to the different assets and elements and pictures and stuff they have in there. And that's why most people do prefer Canva for, um, for their cover design, but book bolt does have a lot to offer when it comes to just creating some simple designs in here. So, uh, we can go in here and uh, get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these little borders I had on this. This is just an old, um, old one that I had. And let's just say we were going to put in here, uh, something, uh, thanks giving no book, something real simple, right? Let's just go real simple with this. I'm going to make it bigger and we're going to center this up and I will bring in that in a little bit, but we're going to go Thanksgiving notebook and let's do a little bit of design here. Right. Um, so let's go, let's go bring this back in here real quick, just so we can line everything up do do do. And then I'm going to go put some transparency on this and then we are going to make this bigger and center it up about <clears throat> right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that back down. We'll come back to that in a little bit. We want to change this background. I'm going to push, um, we can just leave that black there so we can see the white because we're not sure what we're going to end up with. But let's go over here and let's go to photos. And I, I typed in autumn. So that's like the fall and find different images. You can find all kinds of different images in here. Um, I do like this one with the sun shining there. And we're going to go ahead and just center this up 
And this is going to be more of a realistic um, type um, book cover. So we're going to go like that. And then we're going to grab that. Uh, we need to make this font stand out on this, right? So I'm going to grab that font. We might need to change the color. Um, yellow, no. <clears throat> Maybe like a green or even a black and a bold. Let's bold that. And then let's go to effects and we can do uh, like a shadow and something to make it stand out. Maybe a white. We need something in here that's going to make this stand out. We can also come up here to our color picker and grab something from the page that <clears throat> might make this stand out a little bit. Let's try that. So I'm going to go up to the color picker again and grab my color here. Copy. And then I'll come down here. Do, do, do. Whoops. Go back to effects and we're on shadow. We're going to come over here and oops. What I'll do is I'll change the color over here <clears throat> to that and then go back to effects and the color is right there. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to go back. So sometimes you have to you know, learn the tricks of the software that because there is no actual custom color picker or I guess you click on this and throw it in there. So we have that. We want to make the primary color of this black and we have it just kind of shining out a little bit go back to effects and make this a little bit more like it's sticking out. So it's different things you can do. Um, I'm going to make that even bigger, get bigger. And so you can have this um, and then, you know, we can do even different things. We could even put in, you know, if we wanted to put in a shape or something like that, because it maybe it's just not standing out quite like we want. So you can go back to over to elements and we can go to uh, shape and we can grab something like this here and we can just kind of line it up. Right. And we're just doing a little bit of design. Um, so those of you that are new will kind of see how you kind of can use Canva to make a pretty cool looking book here. Um, you can change this color to anything. So in this case, um, the, the, uh, background, I like to match it with something on the page. We got this from this light up here, right? So then I would maybe want to do you know, something, it, I mean, it matches, it matches the, the uh, leaves. Maybe we can even do a color picker here and do one more thing and kind of see if we can get like something in the trees there like that. And we'll grab that from what we just selected, right? Cause you really want something to just stand out and pop. We'll come over here and see what that looks like for us. That looks pretty good. We've got three colors, three colors, Right there. So we got Thanksgiving notebook could be the title. And then you just go to download and you would print this as a, a PDF print right there. High quality. So then you have your um, hundred page interior a journal notebook um, interior and you have your cover here and you could create, you know, 10, 20, 25 um, different covers, change them all up and get them out there. Uh, Thanksgiving is in, a, in, in only a few short weeks. So you still have time this week to get out your books um, for um, the Thanksgiving sales rush. That's it for this video.